Today, ladies and gentlemen, marks another milestone in the history of Washington National High School as we push the board out of this second graduation ceremony. Indeed, we are celebrating a very momentous event, especially to our talented and diverse students who will be marching their way towards excellence. To our guests, and to our very active and ever equal school's division superintendent, Madame Clarissa G. Samora Sessa VI, together with our OIC, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Attorney Femi S. Franco, Doctor of Education, to our strenuous and hard-working school head, Ms. Rizalina P. Maxilo, to our highly competent and deeply motivated members of the faculty, to the proud and loving parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. He came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly, inviting everyone to please stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, followed by the prayer and the Escalata City Hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. sa magkagagahong nga Diyos akong amahan ug magbalantay sa kanunay nagmugna sa langit ug yuta ug naghatag sa tanang grasya 
sa kalibutan. Nagatu ako sa iyang bulawanong kaluoy. Gagabay o gahatag o pag-amuma. Kapanalipod sa takna sa kasakit. O gabayaw sa panahon sa kadaugan. Nagatu ako sa bugos nga kaalam. Pakiglambigit sa katawhan o kaangayan sa tanan. Hingpit nga pagpalangga sa amahan, kanatong iyang mga anak. Nagatu ako sa iyang makanunayong pagsapdag, paghatag og maayong panag-ingnan. Nagatuy-toy sa mga nangulo ning yutang natawhan, dili gayud pagpabayan, ug sa kanunay angay nga ampingan. Nagatu ako sa mabungahon nga katawhan, puno sa paghigugma o paghidait sa usag-usa, hugot sa pagpakabana o pagtimbayayong, walay angay nga hikalimtan, walay bisag-usa nga mabiyaan. Nagatu ako sa yutang bulahan, tugob sa grasya, mapabukid o kadagatan. Nagdagayday sa mga bugay o kaharuhay, gasa sa kinaiyahan, gikan sa amahan. Nagatu ako sa eskalantihanon, puno sa pagsalig sa mahal nga Diyos. Andam sa paghatag sa tanang ikasarang, sa bisag unsang higayon, kini panalipdan. Kini Mau ang akong pagtuo. Sa Diyos nga makagagahom, ug sa akong pinalanggang eskalante, ang akong yutang na tauhan, ang yutang bulahan.
All glory, honor, and praise belong to God Almighty. To the school's division superintendent, Madame Clarissa G. Samora Sasso Six. To our OIC, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Attorney Fabi S. Franco, Doctor of Education. To our ever supportive and charming officer in charge, Ms. Rizalina P. Maximo. Our guest speaker, teachers, graduates, parents, guests, ladies and gentlemen. On this 14th day of July 2021, with the presence of our candidates for graduation, their parents, alumni, and their friends online. The second graduation exercises of Washington National High School is hereby officially declared in session. To our virtual audience, we extend our most cordial welcome. To formally open the ceremony, let us hear a welcome message coming from Mylene Abiles with honors. To our beloved guests, teachers, parents, graduates, and friends, to our very active division superintendent, Mac Clarissa G. Zamora, to our Division Education Supervisor in ESP, Ma'am Alma Simini, and to our very efficient officer in charge, Ma'am Rizalina P. Maxilo. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We are gathered here today to celebrate and validate the admission ceremony of Batch 2020 to 2021. In behalf of Washington National High School and of the entire Batch, of 2020 to 2021. I would like to welcome you all to the second graduation ceremony, which theme is Strengthening Quality Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic. Despite the problem caused by the pandemic, we are very grateful that this event is made possible. Through the combined efforts of our educational leaders, teachers, and parents, I would like to grab this opportunity to thank all our parents, family, and friends for their love and consistent support, as well as to the teachers of Washington National High School for their guidance and patience. We owe everything to all of you. Senior High School has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future. My heart is filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage in my life is about to begin through the dedication of our parents and teachers. Thank you for guiding us and watching us grow. Once again, in behalf of the entire batch of 2020 to 2021, I would like to welcome you all to the second graduation ceremony of Washington National High School. Washington National High School provides our students with quality education and gives better service to our stakeholders. Our grade 12 advisor, Mr. Ryan A. Diafel, teacher three, will now present the candidates for graduation to be accepted and approved by our school head, Ms. Rizalina P. Maxolo, and confirmed by our very own school's division superintendent, Madame Clarissa G. Samora Sasa VI, represented by our education program supervisor, in edukasyon sa pagpapakatao, Ma'am Alma C. Sinini. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of Washington National High School UMS Senior High School Program, the school year 2020-2021, composed of 12 boys and 12 girls with a total of 24. And for computer system servicing, for the school year 2020-2021, composed of one boy and two girls with a total of three. I hereby petition the office of the school head to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. As a school head of this institution, after careful scrutiny of the requirements submitted in my office, I have found that you have completed the requirements for graduation. 
I therefore certify that there's 27 of which 13 male and 14 female candidates for graduation have fully satisfied the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. To Madam Clarissa G. Samora, Sessa 6, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Mom Alma Sinini, our Division Education Program Supervisor in charge of Education sa Pagpapakatao. They now await your confirmation. By virtue of the authority vested upon me by Honorable Leonor Magtoles Briones, Secretary, Department of Education, through Dr. Ramir B. Oitico, CISO 4, Regional Director, Region 6, Western Visayas, through Ma'am Clarissa G. Zamora, CISO 6, OIC Schools Division, Superintendent of Escalante City Division, and upon recommendation by your teacher in charge, Risalina P. Maxilom, I hereby confirm the graduates of Washington Senior High School, school year 2020-2021, consisting of 13 males and 14 females, a total of 27 graduates. They have satisfactorily complied with all the requirements for graduation in senior high school education as prescribed by the K-12 curriculum of the Department of Education. As such, they are considered bona fide graduates and entitled to receive their diplomas with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates! You can reach at another turning point of your life a milestone in your personal history. After a series of academic works, you have come at last to the ending terminus of your senior high school life, only to discover that this point of time is also the beginning of another but higher level of struggles. And let me read to you the content of the diploma. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 6 Western Visayas, Division of Escalante City, Washington National High School. This certifies that Mylene D. Abelis has satisfactorily completed the requirements for graduation in senior high school. Prescribed for secondary schools by the Department of Education and therefore awarded this diploma. Signed in Escalante City, Negros Occidental, Philippines, on this 14th day of July 2021. Signed, Rizalina P. Maxilo, Officer in Charge, and Clarissa G. Samora Zeso 6, Officer in Charge, Office of the School's Division Superintendent.
time you spend your alma mater amidst the crisis caused by the pandemic, for all the funny memories, joy, laughter, and tears we have shared for all these years, from the face-to-face -face setup until now, the new normal way of education will now be recognized and honored. Let me present to you the Academic Excellence Awardees of Washington National High School in the school year 2020-2021. the index of man. Through the spoken word, man shares his thoughts and sentiments with others. He reveals his personality, many times his whole being. To introduce our graduation speaker, let us welcome Ms. Dichuan A. Compania, Teacher 1 and Grade 10 Advisor. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. I am honored to present to you our guest speaker for today. She is a woman who demonstrates kindness and love to her family, a kind of person who is always ready to help others in times of need. A godly woman who values the existence of respect, discipline, and perseverance. She finished her primary education as first honorable mention at Washington Elementary School, year 2005. She then graduated as salutatorian at Washington National High School year 2009. She took Bachelor of Science in Computer Science at Mount Carmel College year 2009 to 2013 and graduated as cum laude. She became the graphic designer of Live Edge Graphic Designs year 2013. She worked at Northern Lights Technology Development as a web specialist during September 2013 to January 2014 and became the order entry team leader to January 2014 up to present. One of her greatest achievements is she was able to help her sister finish her college education. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our guest speaker for today, Miss Giselle C. Solitario. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34. To our beloved OIC School Head Division, Education Program Specialist 2 of Washington National High School, Ms. Rosalina P. Maxillo, 
Ms. Clarissa G. Zamora, the CESO, 6th Division Superintendent, Attorney Phoebe S. Fanco, Assistant Division Superintendent, Dr. Ivy Joy Torres, Division CID Chief, Dr. Mark Anthony Tan, Division SGOD Chief, the dynamic faculty and staff, teachers, loving parents, diligent students, dear graduates and completers who are so beautiful and stunning today, guests, friends, Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to you all. It gives me pleasure to be with you as your guest speaker today. These surroundings reinforce the power of God and the ability of human beings to use knowledge to create beauty and give joy to the society. My dear completers and graduates, I know that you made your parents proud today. They are overwhelmed with so much joy in their hearts right now. One of the greatest achievements as a parent is to see their children wearing a black or white toga or receive an award or a diploma. Your hard work in studying your lessons, answering your modules, doing your projects, complying all the requirements to pass every subject all has been paid off now. I salute you that despite of the circumstances, especially during this pandemic that we all face, you still pursue your studies. As you close this chapter, always remember the people who helped you in this journey. Be grateful to your teachers who never got tired of teaching you for you to learn new things and help you grow in knowledge and prepare you for a new challenges to come. So dear teachers, thank you for your love and passion in teaching these children. Despite the changes or shift from physical teaching to virtual, you manage it well. You did an amazing job. You always have a special place in our hearts as you are part of our journey in life. To your parents, show gratitude to them because they're always there for you. They love you unconditionally and support you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually throughout this journey. I congratulate all the completers, graduates, and parents here I know as a parent, you have a big role and responsibilities in the life of your children, especially in their in, on their education. You desire them to become a professional and successful in their careers someday. Looking back when I was like you, I will share with you some tidbits of my journey in my studies. I know that everyone here is blessed with a parent that has a profession. Most parents here today work as fish vendors, farmer, fisherman, and any source of, like me, my parents did not able to finish their college or even had a degree because my mother is just a housewife and my father is a fisherman but I am proud of them. When we are five siblings and I am the eldest, so when I remembered when I was in high school, I went fishing with my father. It was really hard and tough, especially at that time because the weather was not good. You will hear big waves and raindrops you need to hide yourself in a small part of a boat to keep yourself warm. It's like the boat is shaking. But the exciting part is when we pull back the net, there are fishes on it. It gives joy to my heart. On the other hand, the saddest part as a fisherman if they caught nothing. With that, I realized that though they don't have the assurance to catch many fishes in the ocean, yet 
There is always hope in the Lord. Another thing, when I was in grade 1 and grade 2, my baon was only 2 pesos, or sometimes none. Even an umbrella, we cannot afford it. A banana leaf, we use that as an umbrella, or an old plastic of a big box. So when we wear it, we feel like it's a raincoat. We may have different challenges in life, yet we all know that there's always hope for all of us. My dear completers and graduates, respect, obey, and honor your parents. Don't neglect or be blinded with their sacrifices. They work hard to give you a comfortable life. If you are with your parents right now, I challenge you, please hug them and say to them ma pa thank you for your love and an ending support in my studies to any parents here continue to support your children to achieve their dreams in life you should be their number one supporters or cheerleaders one thing that remains in my heart and mind when i was a child my father once said you know what Knowledge is the only thing that no one can steal it from you, and education is the only thing that we can give you. Focus on your studies. I don't want you to be like me or your mother that we were not able to finish our studies. And that inspires me to pursue my studies and dreams in life because I have seen it to my parents. And for them, poverty is not the hindrance to achieve any goals or dreams in life. If you want to become a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, nurse, or public servant, or any kind of profession someday, go for it. Aim and do it. Believe in God, believe in your parents, and believe in yourself. Above all, let us all be thankful to God because He is the reason why we gather here today. Despite the challenges we face, here we are. By God's grace, we are still alive and breathing. Sometimes we forgot to acknowledge and thank Him for His faithfulness. Yet, God remains faithful to us. He always guides us. You know what? The Lord has a wonderful wonderful plan for you it says in jeremiah 29 verse 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future of course it requires obedience discipline patience and determinations obedience always brings blessings my dear parents and completers and graduates Again, congratulations. Always acknowledge and give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Everything that we have acquired and received comes from Him. He is the source of everything. Know that this is not the end, but this is just the beginning. No matter how small or big your achievements are, always be grateful. Know that small victories are always worth to celebrate. Keep on dreaming and soar high like an eagle. And my dear completers and good rates, God bless in your next journey in life. Last thing before I end, this is one of my secrets in life. The best partner to journey with is God. No matter what happened, He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is always there for you. To God be all the glory. Thank you, ma'am, for such an inspiring message. And with that, we are honored to present to you the Certificate of Recognition. Allow me to read to you the Certificate of Recognition for our guest speaker. Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Region 6 Western Visayas, Schools Division of Escalante City, Washington National High School presents this Certificate of Recognition to Ms. Giselle C. Solitario in grateful acknowledgement of her distinguished and invaluable service record as guest speaker. During the completion and graduation ceremonies of Washington National High School with the theme, Strengthening Quality Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic, thereby contributing immeasurably to the prestige and success of the occasion. Given this 14th day of July, 
in the year of our Lord, 2021. Signed, Rizalina P. Maxalo, the OIC and school head of Washington National High School, and Madame Clarissa G. Samora Sessa VI, Officer in Charge, Office of the School's Division Superintendent. To accomplish great things, we must not only dream, but also act. Not only plan, but also believe. At this juncture, let us hear and witness the graduation messages of our beloved school's division superintendent, Madame Clarissa G. Samora Ciso VI, and our regional director, Dr. Ramir B. Oitico, Cesar IV, and of course, our Department of Education Secretary, Leonor Magdolis Briones. Congratulations to all the completers and graduates of basic education of your school, school year 2020-2021. I also congratulate the proud parents, family members, school officials, faculty and staff for working together towards the actualization of this milestone in the lives of our completers and graduates. The adverse effects of the pandemic have altered the learning modality implemented in the past years. School heads, teachers, and learners had to adjust in various innovative ways so that there would be continuity of learning. The Department of Education appreciates the fact that your school has opened up to evolving ideas resulting to a resilient school system. Keep up the good work! To the completers and graduates, you have exerted effort to gain knowledge, skills, and attitudes in spite of difficulties under the pandemic. Teachers have initiated ways and means to offer the best educational services under the circumstances. The love, care, and tutelage of parents and family members have been evidence so that learning facilitation can be done at home. Beloved graduates, parents, and education stakeholders, foremost of which is the local government unit, you have kept in mind and actualized during the school year the theme, Kalidad na Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. With the guidance of the Almighty Father, Continue with the journey towards personal development through education. Remember that through perseverance and hard work, victories in life can be attained. Mabuhay! God bless you, dear completers and graduates. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us a look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with ALAN. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life, an embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials it propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. 
We firmly believe in your potential for success because in DepEd Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayon ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay! Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank 
the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget 
our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more. To each and every one of you, congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. 
when I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. You are educated. You may think that your certification as a ticket to a good life. Let me ask you to think of an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. Let us welcome Erika Guanzon with honors for her words of gratitude on behalf of the graduates. Good afternoon. My warmest greetings to all the people who work hard just to pursue this events despite the pandemic. Wishing you blessings from God. I wish to express to each and every one of you our deepest and honest gratitude for the love and support to our parents, teachers, relatives, and friends. We feel grateful that God put people like in our path. Wonderful people who supported us unconditionally to move forward and fulfill our dreams. We are very much thankful to our teachers who made us conquerors in the sense that we were able to adopt the new learning modalities and surpass the difficulties in our studies amid the pandemic. Washington National High School, thank you so much for making us the best version of ourselves. We promise we will always bring with us the values and ideals you excelled our lives. To our parents and families, thank you for support and care. Thank you for having an understanding heart and cooperative spirit. We promise to aim for higher goals in life so that we can repay you for your love and goodness. And lastly, to our Almighty God, thank you Lord for the protection, guidance, and blessings you shower in our lives. On behalf of our batchmates, I wish to share with you our triumph and joy that we feel realizing that our effort, dedication, and persistence made this possible. Congratulations to all of us. God bless us all. Loyalty cannot be blueprinted. It cannot be produced on an assembly line. In fact, it cannot be manufactured at all. For its origin is a human heart, the center of the self, respect, and human dignity. To be reminded of these things, let us welcome Joanne Allegre with honors for the Pledge of Loyalty. To my fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the graduates of Senior High School, school year 2020 to 2021, of Washington National High School, do solemnly pledge to uphold the noble tradition and ideals of our alma mater and to bring honors and glory to her name by working with utmost effort, efficiency, and integrity to commit ourselves as new members to support the Alumni Association of our school and be actively involved in its programs and activities. To achieve its vision and mission, 
preserve the dignity and rich heritage of the land and live up to the better hopes and expectations of our countrymen and divine creator. So help us, Almighty God. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smile, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Happy are those who dream dreams and are willing to pay the price to make them come true. Let us now witness and listen to the graduation song of Washington National High School Class 2020-2021. Across that stage with the cameras flashing, they've been waiting on our day. It's been a journey, hasn't it? I wouldn't trade a moment. No, I wouldn't change a moment. I'm who Thank you so much. Let us give them our virtual applause. Before we end our ceremony, let us now have our officer in charge school head, Ms. Rizalina P. Maxillo, for some announcements.
I would like to instrumentalize this announcement part in delivering my greetings to the graduates of the senior high school and completers from junior high school of Washington National High School, the parents, relatives, and for all those who helped for us to achieve quality education despite the pandemic as a preparation for a higher level of studies. Thank you for all the support given to your students. To the teachers, I also extend my sincere gratitude to you as you did not only teach but led the students in this institution. Your indulgence to the many tasks given to you showed your dedication and commitment in this teaching profession. My sincere greetings are also to the SSG officers who virtually supported our school community pantry by inviting stakeholders in sustaining our school's initiative. Congratulations for you have been successful in your terms. Though most of you will sign off as student leaders for us, we hope that you will still be steadfast in delivering aid to our beloved school in improving the student body. For all those who took part in preparing this ceremony, from the rehearsals until this day, led by the dedicated teachers of Washington National High School, you're the reason behind the success of this virtual event. The students who are here, or virtually here, the achievers and competitors of the entire year, Washington National High School is very happy for you and you are expected to continuously render this victory. So our guest speaker, Ms. Giselle C. Solitario, we would also like to thank you for accepting the school's invitation to be our guest speaker today. Truly, you have inspired us by your warm and motivating speech. We hopefully continue this kind of success through not getting fed up or fulfilling our duties. Indeed, it is clear in our visions, it is already within our grasp, the fulfillment of our school's vision. March on, Washington High. Again, congratulations to all of us. Thank you. Your schooling may be over, but remember that your education still continues. Rely on your own strength of body and soul. Take for your star. Self-reliance, faith, honesty, and industry. Steer your own ship. And remember that the great art of commanding is to take a fair share of the work. Fire above the mark you intend to hit. Energy, invincible determination with the right motive are the levers that move the world. Congratulations, Batch 2021. Good afternoon and God bless us all.